Hey guys, I'm CX Boy here, and uh, in this episode of uh, Bitcoin uh, series, uh, I'll teach you how to sign and verify messages from um, your Bitcoin Electrum client. So, um, just a brief introduction about Electrum. Uh, it's a lightweight uh, Bitcoin client, and uh, you don't have to download the whole blockchain. Um, you can find uh, Electrum at um, electrum.org. I think it's very useful uh, because, for example, if a bad internet, um, you don't want to download a whole blockchain which takes from 30 minutes to a few weeks. So, um, Electrum uses um, servers, so, um, connects your client to server that has the blockchain. It's basically like um, the server shares the blockchain together. Uh, so this is Electrum. I'm using Mac. Uh, so uh, the GUI of um, the UI of the um, uh, Electrum in Windows might be a little bit different. So click download if you haven't downloaded Electrum yet, and cl uh, choose um, the correct one so I'm using OSX so this one but if you're using Windows uh, you can choose these no this one choose this one uh, just a uh, standalone executable so anyways um, go to Electrum afterwards Electrum and then just wait to load and uh, as you can see, um, if you have a new, if you have a new, um, if you're new for the first time, you have to uh, add a wallet, create a wallet. So um, remember to remember, uh, remember to jot down the um, long chain of random words because that's the recovery password for your Electrum if you're using new computer and uh, you download it, um, Electrum for the first time in that new computer you have to use that long series of random words um, in order to retrie retrieve your Electrum um, account from the old one to the new one so anyways um, if you um, for, for, uh, for signing a message um, click on console and then you'll see these things. Um, go to this is where all the magic happens. So um, first, go to receive, and choose one of your um, addresses. This is the default number of addresses. So um, when I first made it, um, it gave me two, four, six address addresses, and I I didn't delete or add anything because I don't think you can so um, you can sign message uh, here so for example I want to sign a message for my slush pools uh, address sign a message um, and then say hello uh, I am hello I am six boy and click sign Enter my password, and it would gener it will generate a um, a long chain of random uh, sentence. Uh, I don't understand how to describe it. It's like your address but different. So you have got this, and this is the encrypt um, encrypted version of this and your address together so um, copy this one command C for me or control C and uh, go to verify it just to make sure um, message uh, signature and then I'll just go to my slush pool and copy my address
and uh, address and then the message is hello I am six boy verify and this means that um, the signature is true for example I say uh, I am not six boy it will say wrong uh, wrong signature so um, the signature is not this which means that guy might not be the real owner of the address so for example you want to go to a group buy in Bitcoin talk and most of the group buy owners wants to wants you to uh, verify your uh, address then you have to sign it sign your address with a message but um, if you don't if you don't want to use this one um, you want to be you want to use some program codes um, you can go to console and type sign message and then parentheses um, and then a colon uh, your address colon and then comma new colon and then um, and that's apostrophe um, so parentheses and then apostrophe your, uh, your signature and then your uh, apostrophe comma space you don't really need a space uh, apostrophe and then your message so for example hel um, hello uh, backslash n that means a new line uh, backslash n and then I I I am um, six boy so I didn't put any uh, punctuation and um, as you can see there's no space after this backslash n it's me I mean to do that I, me I meant to do that because this is how you, this is how you should do because if you put a, a space then your next sentence your next sentence uh, when you're verifying a message if you put a space and then I am at CX1 so um, delete that space and uh, close parentheses and enter password password so yeah this is your uh, how to say this is your um, encrypted um, signature so I'll just open the pad and, uh, no, uh, text edit new document and then save that and I'll copy this one so remember hello and then um, space um, next line I am CX boy so let's go to sign message verify uh, signature hello I am CX boy so verify signature verify so basically you can do um, signing you can sign a message as well as verifying a message um, using either of these um, uh, choice so if you want to verify message using console go to verify message and then parentheses um, your uh, address the address you want to verify um, close apostrophe comma and then the address and then the um, signature address and the signature and then the message so hello backslash n uh, six what true so for example I say I am not six what it's false so um, 
you can do both. It, it works both uh, both ways, but it really depends on uh, what you prefer. So, if you don't want to memorize um, those codes, then um, use the GUI, the sign message GUI. If you want, if you don't want to press that much thing uh, on your mouse, uh, click console and type it. So, uh, yeah, this is um, this is um, uh, how to show you how to sign a message and verify a message using Electrum. Uh, I'm using one point eight point one. So. Um, Hope you guys enjoy this video and find it useful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a message below, um, leave a comment, and uh, please like, subscribe, and um, I'm CXY, and I'm signing out.